Omira made $45,000 in 2019 at her full-time job. How much does she owe in federal taxes? Many people might look at the 2019 tax brackets and think that because she makes $45,000, she must fall in this bracket, so she would owe 22% of her income to taxes. So does that mean that she owes almost $10,000 in taxes? We can debunk this common misconception by learning how to calculate your tax due. The first step we need to take is to determine Omira's taxable income, or the amount of income that is used to calculate her tax due. Here's how. We first start with gross income, which is how much money you made in the calendar year. Then we can subtract the standard deduction, which is the portion of your income that is not subject to tax. This equals your taxable income, and we can use this number to calculate your income tax due. So in the example of Omira, her gross income is $45,000. Then, we can subtract the standard deduction, which, in 2019, is $12,200. Be sure to check the updated standard deduction each year. $45,000 minus $12,200 is equal to $32,800. We will use her taxable income value to then calculate her tax due. Now that we have her taxable income, the second step is to identify which tax bracket her taxable income falls in and the percentages for each relevant tax bracket. Going back to our 2019 tax brackets, we see that our taxable income of 32,800 falls within this bracket. We will need this bracket and any previous brackets to calculate her tax due, so I'll box these two brackets. Let's go to the drawing board and now we can calculate the tax for each bracket. I'm gonna draw a long box to represent Omar's taxable income, starting at zero and going up to her 32,800th dollar. According to the tax bracket table, the first bracket goes from 0 to 9,700, so I'll indicate that here. Still using that tax bracket table, I see that the first bracket is taxed at 10%, so I'll put that in the first box. I also see that the next bracket is taxed at 12%, so I'll put that in the second box. Now that I have my visual, I can set up an expression to start calculating. 10% of this first bracket will be 0.10 as a decimal, times the difference here, so 9,700 minus zero is just 9,700. Then for the next bracket, 12% as a decimal is 0.12, times the difference here, so 32,800 minus 9,700 is $23,100. Now it's time to calculate. 0.10 times 9,700 is 970, and 0.12 times 23,100 is 2,772. The last step is to add the taxes for each bracket together, and we get $3,742. This final answer is Omira's total tax due. We have taken 10% of the first bracket and 12% of the second bracket and added it together. All right, let's review. First, we determined Omira's taxable income by taking her gross income minus the standard deduction. Then, we identified the percentage for each relevant tax bracket, in Omira's case, 10% and 12%. Next, we calculated the tax for each bracket by multiplying the percents by the difference in each bracket. And our final step was to add the tax for each bracket to find Omira's total tax due.